What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com In the last Dynasty video, we took on Kansas and we got our revenge on the Jayhawks. They beat us badly last season. We took care of business this season. We ended up winning about three touchdowns. Had a really good game overall. Kansas got a touchdown late. And now we are 2-0 on the season, but we got a much tougher opponent today against number 11, Texas A&M. They're undefeated. They got more talent than we do. You look at their stats, they're doing pretty good at everything. So this will be an uphill climb, but maybe if we play well, we could pull off an upset. Now they run a pro style offense, 4-3 defense, if I'm not mistaken. I think this is when Dennis Francione was there. Let's look at recruiting. You would think that last win would help us some. Let's look at the five guys we're going after. We're still going up the list for Hayden McKinney. Looks like Tennessee's on number one on his list, but we are definitely at number two. Just keep putting the points on him. I think we'll be okay there. It would just help to find out what he likes. And then you got a corner, Chauncey Manning out of Corbin, Kentucky. We are right there pretty much tied with Virginia. We just don't know what he likes yet. Then we go to center, Gavin Simpson. We're number one on his list now. He's narrowed it down to his top five, but we can't get anything out of the kid. We got a couple guys left. We got a tight end, Daryl Evans. We're number one on his list. Tight end out of Tennessee. Would love to have him. He is a guy that I think would fit our offense pretty well. He can block. At least he's big enough to do so, but he can catch the ball a little bit. He's not the fastest, but I think we can get him involved down the road. And last but not least, guard Michael Jackson. He's narrowed his top five or number two on the list. We're in good shape. We just need to figure out what he likes. That's the only downside to recruiting is we don't have a positive pitch on any of the five guys we're going after. I'm sure that will come in time. Now let's go to over to Sports Illustrated, check out some things. Top 25 polls. In the last game, we were like in the 50 range. So I know we are nowhere near close to being here. We need to get a couple of upsets to even think about top 25. So there's not a whole lot to see there. Same with Heisman Watch. I don't think we're going to have anybody on here for a while. I'm trying to think. I mean, Horton, our halfback, maybe. If he puts up 150 yards every so often, then he has a chance. But still, he's splitting carries with Drummer. We can go to Players of the Week and see if we have anybody on here. Quarterback out of Florida International was your National Offensive Player of the Week. Well, he had seven touchdowns. That's pretty impressive. Then he got a strong safety. You don't see that too often. Strong or safeties get players of the week. It's usually linebackers or defensive ends. But a kid out of Southern Miss had a really good game. And you go to our conference, and there you go. Joe Horton, the freshman halfback, got your Offensive Player of the Week. And a free safety out of Virginia Tech had a really good game. And if I'm not mistaken, that is who we were playing after this game. Let's go to conference standings. The conference standings itself doesn't mean a whole lot at the moment because nobody's really played anybody yet. And we can look at our team info screen. Everything looking pretty solid. Gates, Horton, and Drummer is her. Drummer's going to be our leading receiver until somebody ste steps up. I'm sure Tally may do something there. I'm going to try to give the ball to my tight ends a little bit more. Again, just kind of depends on what the defense is throwing at me. But you look at our defensive leaders. McCoy is killing it on the tackles department. But we need to get some help on the sacks and interceptions. I'm sure that'll increase in time. Now we can check out Texas A&M's team info screen. And it looks like they got a couple players out. A wide receiver for a month and a guard after the season. Look at their quarterbacks putting up decent numbers. And you got a running back doing okay. Looks like a receiver is doing pretty well. And they got one guy on defense that's doing a little bit of everything for them. In the last game, they beat Mississippi State by 12. <clears throat> so I think I have seen everything that I wanted to see. Let's go ahead and simulate the week and see if we have anybody in trouble. If you notice, ooh, Virginia. Well, I'm going to go back and look at some. You look at our schedule. It's Virginia that comes up next, and then Virginia Tech. Virginia was ranked, and they're 0-2 on the season. They're just off to a bad start. Virginia Tech's 2-1. Look at Miami, 0-2. They were ranked at one point. Look at that. We don't have one single ranked team on our schedule left. And we ended up with, what, five at the beginning of the season? It's just a bad... Maybe we could take advantage of all these teams playing bad. I don't know. That's just so weird. If I'm not... Go back and look at the preseason video. I think I had at least five ranked teams on the schedule. Now we're down to essentially one. Either way, 
let's go ahead and we're gonna go with our default away uniforms and let's get into the game looks like we have a night game in college station texas it's been a long time since i played in this stadium that entire end zone they have renovated they put a whole new uh, section of stands right there it's humongous what they got set up now at least the weather is good. Now, the wind's a little bit high, but I don't know if that'll affect us too much today. We don't throw it a ton. Let's hope their backfield isn't too strong. I'm sure that'll give us some fits, whatever they got back there. We're going to highlight a defensive end. 6'4", 280. Woo! And they're picking Texas A&M as expected. Let's go to the coin toss. We want it, and I want the ball in the second half. Let's check out their roster, see what we're dealing with. So starting quarterback, this is good. They got a pocket passer. I knew they had some dual threat guys on the back end or on their team. I, Stephen McGee, I remember him, and they picked up a true freshman who could run a little bit, but they're starter today. Can't run, so we're going to go after him. And thank the Lord, they don't have an impact running back. So we may have a chance today. 82 overall. So their backfield isn't the greatest in the world, but let's look at their fullback. Pretty strong. Impact wide receiver, so maybe they'll throw the ball a little bit more. But 84, 82, 80. They're number two guys, the one that's out. But they got an okay wide receiving core. Look at their tight ends. 85 and 80 overall. I would love to have this kid. 6'7", 243. Martellus Bennett. That sounds familiar. 84 cash. Yeah, this kid's a freak of nature. Wow, that kid's the real deal. You look at their offensive line, 74, 85, 84, 84, and 84. So a pretty good offensive line outside of their left tackle. Like I said, they run a 4-3. Now, we're already starting off with an impact defensive end. 6-5, 290 pounds. That is just a load. Then look at the other end. This is the better or most talented defensive end, Jason Jack. This was the kid they premiered at the preview of the this game. 91 overall. Then you go to defense tackle, 87 and 82, 78. So their front four is really solid. Look at their at linebackers, 82, 90, and 68. So that's going to help. They got a true freshman starting at right outside linebacker. Really good middle linebacker. I'm sure this kid will do a little bit of everything today. Let's look at their defensive backs, 82, 82, 78 at the corners, and he got just 76 of free safety. He's a true freshman. Then he got 89 strong safety. That's arguably maybe their best defensive player outside of that defensive end. Kicker, 65, nothing special. Then he got just 78 a punter. So I didn't see a whole lot of, like, cerebral studs outside of just a couple of spots. Okay, let's get this show on the road. They got an impact guy on the layup. I'll try not to... Mess this up. I'm going to kick it over here. This should work. Oh, the wind, I guess, got it just enough. I think he's going to take a knee, though. I'm good with that. I am going to assume they're going to throw just a little bit more than usual. So I'm going to start off with the zone blitz. Play action. I think he tried to do a shovel pass. I didn't see it. I was looking at what I was doing. Yeah, he, he tried to do a shovel pass. It's It's got to be a weird situation for that to happen. I've had a couple people comment on this. It doesn't happen often at all. But sometimes you could do it. But I guess the player has to be right in front of the quarterback that for that to happen. I'm not really sure. All right, let's start. Let's go with quarters. Looks like they're going four wide. Going five wide. Watch the middle of the field. That's usually our weak spot. Ah, he threw that way too early. So it's third and ten. We'll go cloud. I've got the middle of the field. We're going ace normal. We'll do something like this, perhaps. Maybe one of our defensive ends can get around do something. They're going with the tight end play out of ace normal. And we got the sack. He just couldn't find anybody open, I guess. So that's a really good start. Let's see if we can get a good 
potential thumbnail. That's not bad. Now, I would normally... We're going to go double cross. I would love to try to block this thing, but they're going to come in to protect it where this is located. So we'll see if we can get a decent return instead. Just a pretty night for football. A good setting. We have potential here. Somebody get a block on the left. Get a block on the left. Get a block on the left. All right, that was a decent return. Let's set up a couple of sub packages. I'm going to put my tight ends there, and we're going to do this. Let's start off with a basic off tackle with Horton. So their defensive end, the good ones on that side. Not a whole lot there. We're in the middle of the field. I want to... Let's see if we can do a toss with Drummer. Zone nickel. I think I'm going to run some clock today. I think it's a good idea to do so. I'm sure that's going to bring somebody over. What happens if I do this? That actually helped a little bit. He stayed over there. So we're going to go to the right, even though we got an impact player over there. We can just get a decent block on that kid. I think we'll be okay. Not a terrible play. We got some yards. This is two down territory for us, so we don't have to. I'll tell you what I need to do. I need to get. Let's go. I want to go to formation subs. I want to switch out this. I want to put drummer there. And I want to put Horton here. How about that? Switch them around a little bit. Now they're blitzing. Uh, this thing, okay, we may have a chance on the left. They're blitzing on the right at least. If we could just contain the big guy on the left side. If not, then we'll definitely go for it on fourth down. Good protection or good blocking. Good deal. Pick up a first down. I need to... I would love... We're on the road, so I can't do much audible stuff today. Let's go with something like... Let's do our first pass play. We're going man, 4-3. This is either going to go to Wright or to Riley. No, the clock is still running. We're going to let it do so. We'll just see what these safeties do. They're going to cover one. Look at that throw, and he drops it. Ah, man, just a great throw. Quarterback got rocked, apparently. I mean, right where that throw needed to be, but he just dropped it. Look at that. Man, Wright's got to step up and see, that's just, again, it just we need some better players on the outside. That'll come eventually. Let's set up another run. Let's go full back over with the drummer. They're going man 4-3. I'm going to leave it as is. We're going to motion that guy over. Give us a little extra room on the right. The clock has stopped, so let's go ahead. I had good defense all around. Didn't have enough room to go to the edge. Middle of the field. Ugh, we're on the 19. We're not going to have a whole lot of room to do this. We'll try it. Deep cross or goss up the going man. I may... 39, 39. Uh... Yeah, we'll go with it. If they go cover two, I'll probably just play it safe and go to right. If they go cover one, they're going cover two. Yeah, just just good. That's Cover two, man, is the perfect defense against that play. There's really nothing open. This guy could have been open. I probably could have tried it to him, so that could be my cover two guy going forward. It would have been tight. That safety could have come over. I don't know. So it's on the 16. I really... A little attempt to field goal. No pressure. This one's going to be tough. Here we go. They'll try to make this a field goal. Ooh, ooh, the wind's really kicking. This may be good. Curl it, curl it, curl it. <laughs> good deal. So we got three points. We got something. It's better than nothing. We took up half the quarter. Every bit of it. And we're going to get back on defense. I got the wind is doing that. 
That's what we wanted to do right there. He's going to return it, though. Good tackle. Let's get back on defense and try something here. Get another stop, just like we done on the previous drive. Do something like this. I need to control my safety. Just a bad throw by the quarterback, which doesn't hurt my feelings. We'll go quarters at a 4-3, give her a nickel, a bit of a break before they come back out on third down. Looks like they switched something. Play action. Wide open. Good throw. So how is he wide open? I went with quarters. Yeah, quarters, you notice right here. That's a good spot to attack quarters off play action. Okay. Ooh, let's do a zone blitz from 4-3. Maybe we can get after this quarterback. They haven't ran the ball yet, if I'm not mistaken. Going with another pass. Intercept that. Oh, man, McCoy, you got to pick that off. Or whoever that was. So that's two drops on us. One by a receiver, the other one by a linebacker. Another play action play. Good throw. So picks up another first down. We can try another zone blitz, this time from our nickel. I can leave it as is, and they're going halfback draw. Good stop by the defensive end. Pretty sure Kitchen was the one who got the sack earlier. We'll go back to quarters. It looks like they're going back to ace normal. Halfback draw. He's got a lot of room. Almost got the first down. This had a big open hole over the middle. So it's third and one. We'll go with just cover two man. Just try to keep everything in front of us. They're going to go line as expected. Big play right there for them. We'll go back to quarters. We need to get a turnover of some sort. They're going out of gun bunch. Here's their good throw. He was open. So the quarterback's playing a little bit better now. They're about to score. We can try another zone blitz. Ah. Ooh, he juked me good on that one. <laughs> That's how you combat that blitz. Gaping hole. Nobody was there. And just like that, they've got the lead. I'm definitely keeping my expectations low on this game. They're just a much better team than we are. But maybe we can stick with them. They didn't have too hard of a time on that drive. Their quarterback played a whole lot better than that first wood drive. And that's the end of the first quarter. We're down four. We're going to get the ball back. Let's see if we can get something going. This is a deep shot. I'm going to let him just take a knee on that one. We're in the middle of the field, so I can try a deep cross up again. We're going zone this time. Let's see if we can do something. Now, I am going in the wrong direction. I'm here to tell you. We're going up against a really good safety. That defensive end's on that side. Looks like I got some time to throw. Good throw. Right where it needs to be. Man, what a throw by the freshman. Gosh. Ooh, that's some accuracy right there. Right in stride. Great play. Let's go right here and... Let's go tight end post. They're going man. I wonder if my tight end can hear this. We're going to try it. He can hear it. That's good. So this is going to Ryder Patrick. We're going to let that clock roll. 
It's in my best interest to do so. Just narrow this game down as much as I can. Keep it away from their offense. Cover one. Terrible throw. I know. Dropped it. This is just a bad play all around. We can go back. Second and ten. Let's go back to a toss with Drummer. Zone nickel. Sets up with four receivers. Gates on the option, and now he pitches it. We're going to get lucky on this one. We're going to pick up the first down. Bring him down. My and offensive line down. got beat badly. You see right here, my left tackle got pushed back, so I had to go around him just so I had enough clearance to toss it to Drummer. Thankfully, we had some room to work with. So we're on the left hash. Let's go. Let's go P.A. Reed. We're going zone dime. I would love to run it. We may attempt that. The clock is still going. I like the box. I think I may just run it. We probably can get more yards if we threw it. Yeah, it just depends. You know, you just got to execute and whatnot. I think I may hand it off. Nope, that was a bad idea. Good pursuit. So it is second in a little while. Let's go. Let's go back to another pass. Let's go tight end delay. We're going zone 4-3. Do something like this. Give our zone beaters a, a chance. Before we figure out what to do on third down. Get it down to a couple of seconds. Good throw by the freshman. We're pop, it's third and three. I'm probably going to stay here, and we'll go P. Reed from gun normal. And we're just going to toss this to Drummer. The clock has stopped, so we can go ahead and snap it. I, that's just what you, nothing you can do about that. So we're on the 17. I'm, I'm a little leery of doing a field goal, to be honest. It's just the wind worries me, so let's just go back to tight end delay. I think this is the smart decision. I wonder if Adams can hear that. He can't hear that. We're going to go to Drummer. We're going to at least do this. Ah, I've done that way too late. Hoping that didn't hurt us. We're going to get the first down. Just enough. <laughs> okay. Let's go back to the run game, shall we? Let's go slam with Horton. Again, I just did not trust myself on kicking a field goal. Not with that wind as crazy as it is. So we got the clock running. Let's let it do so. It'd be amazing if we could score a touchdown and still chew up like another minute. Very good chance we may be going up the A or B gap on this one. Just hold on yet. Don't use the speed button. Got some yards, not a whole lot. Second and seven. I'm going to go back to the run. If we was at home, I would do a little more fullback stuff. But I want to use audibles for that type of thing. And we can't do that at the moment. It just It's not worth it. So let's just run the ball again. Just another basic slam. Good block. Six points. Nope, maybe not. Ooh, did we even get the first? I don't think we got it. Third and one. Let's go full back over. They don't have their impact guy out there, which is interesting. I think they're going zone, and they are. We're going to go back over here. The clock has stopped, so we can go ahead and snap it. Man, just good defense. I could either... I'm going to take a chance. We're on the road. We're going to put in our tight ends. We're going to go halfback direct. I don't want to kick a field goal. I want a chance to try to win this thing. And if I miss it, then so what? You know, that's the chance you take. But I want a touchdown. I don't want no field goal. I like that they're going zone at least. 
Good block, and we're going to pick up a touchdown. Good deal. So I took some chances on that drive. We went for it on fourth down twice, and it paid off. So every now and then, it helps to take a chance. I'm going to go ahead and move this back. I want my four receivers in that one. Let's kick an extra point. Go up three. So there's a minute and a half to go. It'd be great if we can get some type of stop here and go into half with the lead. So look at the time. We took up three and a half minutes. That's my ideal drive for a game like this. So what's that? The wind is going in that direction. So I'm going to leave it as is. And it should go over to that guy. That did not work. <laughs> Oh, my kicker got destroyed. Somebody stop him. Whew, that's a big gain for them. Now they're on the 39. Let's see if somebody make a, make a play, at least on hard team. We're going quarters. Good throw. Picks up four, maybe? Six, apparently. So they're going... With a timeout, which is fine. I'll stay in quarters at a nickel. Second and four. Ball on the 45. The Aggies come out in a shotgun. We'll do something like this. Back to pass. Steps up with the throw. Almost got the first down, but not enough. Third and one. They're going with a big set. They'll probably just go with the run. I'm going to do something like this. Stop him. Huge play, but a face mask. Ooh, it didn't happen. Call a timeout. I could have swore that was a face mask. We got very lucky. Huge play right there. So we got the timeout. Let's go defensive line. We are... Hmm, we're going to take a chance. We're going to go all that block. They normally do not come in to protect in this situation. If they go for it, I don't blame them. They're not going to. Nobody got through on that one. Everybody get out of the way, get out of the way, go in the end zone. So that defender just goofed up on that when he had a chance to stop it like on the four. So we got a little over a minute. I don't know if we can get down the field quick enough. We'll see. They're going man here. I can't audible. They're going cover two. Intercepted. Oh, what a catch. <laughs> we got lucky on that one. We got to call a timeout. That was just pure luck. That was not a good throw at all. But he went for the swat. Man. Okay, we are. where are we? Let's go. Let's go halfback angle. They're going man. Cover two. Good throw, just not a whole lot there. And I've, I'm only down the one timeout, so I kind of need to get with this. We'll go P. Reed. We're going man nickel. Hurry up to the line. Come on, come on, come on. I, ooh, I think I may run this one. I think we got the, the numbers. And we do, but he's going to stop. Did we get the first? First and 10, and we stopped the clock. Good deal. We need to get out of bounds. So let's go. sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game. Tight end delay. Man 4-3. This is either going to Drummer or... Ah, dang it, didn't mean for him to do that. Cover zero. Make a play, make a play. Huge, huge play by Wright. Oh my gosh. Monster play right there. I don't have time to look at it. You can go look at it later. The clock is running. We got 22, 27 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and snap it. No blocking. I'm going to call a timeout. That's our last one. So we got to be careful here. Uh, let me think. Ah, we'll go tight end delay again. Ooh, they're going man 4-3. We have a chance to maybe get a touchdown here. Since they're going 4-3, I may move that receiver over again. Ah, he can't hear that. Did it work again? Maybe. Don't know. Can't tell. 
This is going to Drummer. Six points. We're up nine. We got lucky. They went man on us. If they would have went zone, that would have been tough to convert. Just enough. I threw a little too lightly, but that's okay. <laughs> we got the points we wanted. Huge drive right there. Great way to take advantage of the situation. We, we went, what, 80 yards in like a little over a minute? But who made the plays? Our quarterback. One big throw after another. Let's kick an extra point. So Gage is playing really well at the moment. <laughs> now that one play over the middle on that deep cross up. We got fortunate on that one. Sometimes it helps to be lucky than good. So let's survive these next 16 seconds. That's still going to that other guy in it. Mm. Somebody make a play. Don't let him get free. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 10 seconds. We're going to go with man. This is about to the point where they're going to go Hail Mary and whatnot. Let's back up everybody up. Like, I think this could be a Hail Mary play, to be honest. We'll see really quick. Nope, it's not Hail Mary. They're going with Smash. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Play safety, play safety. So two seconds. So now they're calling a timeout. They're going to go to the Hail Mary play. Uh, let me look at my corners. Look, I need to look at my fourth corner. 72. He's a 92. Uh, let's just go with Nickel. I'd rather have McCoy out there than that fourth Nickel. Or that second guy. I'm backing up. He's going to throw in my direction, too. Ooh, good. Somebody got to him in time. So, great first half. We're up 17 to 7. You couldn't ask for anything more. So, let's go to stats. See what we're dealing with here. Offense is playing pretty well. I mean, our run game's doing okay. Our passing game is doing a whole lot better than I expected. We're doing a good job against their offense. Their quarterback, is he played a little bit better in the second quarter than he did in the first. Thankfully, they're not running the ball enough. Otherwise, we'd be hurting. Neither team is doing all that well on third down. I had to convert four down, what, twice already? You look at the penalties, none for either team. Let's go to individual stats. Justin Gates, 8 of 11, 133 yards, a touchdown, no interceptions. He's off to a really good start. Running the ball, Horton and Drummer. Neither one's doing a ton at the moment, but they're keeping us in as long as they don't turn the ball over. Receiving, we've had five different guys get to touch the ball. I would love to get my tight ends going. I do have one tight end play I need to start using more now that I have two tight ends that can make it work as it requires to, to function. We're going to try to implement that some today. We'll see. Blocking, that don't matter. Uh, defense, leading in tackles, McCormick, the corner. Probably don't want a corner leading in tackles, but it's only three of them. Tackles for loss, Justin Kitchen. He's the one with the one sack. And we don't have any interceptions. So let's head into the third quarter. We're ready to start the second half. The teams are this is a perfect time to really stretch the lead. Go up three scores, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's take this one out with Drummer, see what happens. Not much. Back on the left hash. Let's go with... Let's do a counter with Horton. Zone 4-3. Going in that direction. Good blocking, good blocking, good blocking, good blocking, good blocking, good blocking. What a play. What a play by everybody. High five for everybody on the line. Look at that. Look at the block by ball. Look at the block by the receiver. Gosh, that's awesome. That does not get old. If you can pull that off again... Do not use the speed button until you have to. At this point, I think I started using it. I was getting chased, but just enough timing on the block. That's why it helps to have a fullback with enough speed to get there. If my other fullback, who's got 65 speed, was out there, I would have to sit there and wait on him and wait on him. So having some speed of fullback helps. Then Wade. Is that Wade? I don't know who that is at receiver. Another great block. Opens up another 20 yards for us. 
Big play. Okay, good deal. Let's go back to ace tight. I wanted to go with a dive play with Dremmer. They're going zone. I'm going to go to the right side. The clock is running. We're going to milk that clock. Wow, our... Don't you just feel good? I feel like you're, the team's just slowly getting a little bit better. No, nothing there. Good defense all around. So that's what, second and something. Uh, let's go. Ooh, I forgot. I, this would have been a perfect time to run that tight end play. We'll try that later. They're blitzing at least off the right side. We're going to go over here. I'm going to see if I can do something on the left with Horton. Get it down to a few seconds. Their impact defensive end isn't even out there for whatever reason. Horton, that's his only real downside. He's just not the fastest guy in the world. You look here. You go to... Eh, wrong one. Go to depth chart. You look at a halfback. Horton just has 90 speed. Hey, I'm not complaining. 90 speed is good. But you could tell at times where... You'd like to have a little bit better, but he's really good at everything else. I mean, he's really strong, can break tackles. So we're on the left hash. Let me think. What can we call? I may go back. Let's call... I'm going to take a chance. Let's go corner flat. They're going man dime. This either is going to work or it's not. I don't know what to call. Uh, we're going to snap it. Nope, it ain't going to work. We're going to throw that. Ooh, yeah, we're going to throw that one away. So my man beater is this kid right here. Sometimes he can get, his defender can get picked, but that time it didn't happen. I think it can happen if a corner is not on him, if it's like a linebacker instead. But half the time that guy, that receiver can get in his way and he can get wide open. Otherwise, there's not a whole lot of man options here. So that's good defense all around. That may need to be an audible or something for me. Second and 10. Let's go toss with Drummer. Let's see what they're going to do on that left side. Good. Hmm. We're going to go to the left. Uh-oh, he got some room. He got some room. Great play. Drummer. He is a little gassed, so we're going to do something else. Let's just run the ball with Horton. We'll do a basic slam. Now, this would be a perfect time to me, like, audible to, like, one of my fullback plays. But, again, we're on the road. Just, it's going to be tough in this environment. Let's see if we can get something going on the right. They shift into the left. So, it's in our best interest to go right. We just need decent blocking. Get a first down for Horton. Good deal. Now, I want to... Hmm, I think we're too far close to the red zone for me to call that tight end play. So, I'm going to try that later. So, both of my... Halfbacks are a little gas at the moment. Let's do a fullback over with our true fullback and ball. And that tight end, that defensive end's on that side. Hopefully, nothing goofy happens right here. Good blocking. Only thing goofy's going to happen is a touchdown. Yeah, that's like his third on the year. <laughs> so we have a three back monster. I was not expecting that. I thought Horton and Drummer would do most of our load, but every now and then we could give it the ball and he could do damage. Awesome. So what I need to start doing is recruiting halfbacks that can convert to fullback well. Big, strong dudes. They don't need to be fast, but... And if they can catch a little bit, that'd be cool too, but it's not a requirement. I'd barely throw to them like once a game. But look at that. We're up 17. We're just playing well. Everything's going right for us. We haven't had any big mistakes. Like the worst mistakes we've had of what, two drops? So the wind's going that direction. Let's do something like this. That's still going to stay in. He's got good field position. Ooh, I got, uh oh. Mm, good stop. I'm going to go back to a zone blitz. Eventually, my cornerback is going to get a sack. I don't know when that's going to happen. Maybe it's on this play. Dive up the gut. That's the perfect play call. 
That's the perfect play call against my blitz. Right up the gut, as you could tell, there was just nobody on him. I spread out. That probably didn't help. I need to quit doing that for that particular play. And it didn't help that this guy right here just decided, you know, I think I'm just not going to do anything on this play. Just whiffed it. <laughs> so that didn't help. Let's go cover two man here. I don't know what they're going to call. I'm guessing a pass play. Play action. Get an open field tackle. Gets a few yards. That's their big tight end, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to try that blitz play again. This time we're not going to spread out our defensive line. The only reason I spread out the line is to help our blitzers off the edge. Texas a goes with the ace set here. But if they're smart, they'll run right up the gut again. Going with the screen. They got the numbers. They got the numbers. Just a good play. That's a good call against that particular defense. That was two good calls against my zone blitz. But just like that, they're back in it. We're still up 10, though, so we're, we're still okay. Just keep doing what we're doing offensively. Keep running the ball. Keep throwing safe passes. Let's see if Drummer can do something right here. Uh-oh. Take it, Drummer. Oh, my gosh. What a play by number 40. Huge, huge. Let's do something from this formation. Now, I got my... You know, we've been doing that speed option strong. It's the same as speed option. It's the exact same play. It's not power option, unfortunately. Let's, we're going to try We got this other freshman quarterback who can run a little bit. Every time we call this play, it gets busted up. This time we may have a chance. Get something. Get about six yards with Horton. Got seven on that play. A little bit gassed on that one. Let's do fullback over with Drummer. I'm back to the point where I can put in ball right there instead of drummer. If I'm okay with drummer using this play at least. So the clock is going. They're going cover zero, but you notice both safeties came up. If we can get decent blocking, we may have a chance to get a big play here. But they got that big stud on the right. We got to contend with. That's a face mask, call it. So it's third and what? Third and five? Let's go deep cross up. We're going zone. Last time we called this play, it worked well. We need good blocking on the right and a good throw by Gates. This is a big play right here. If we don't convert, I'd probably go for it just because it's on the 39. Yeah, that's kind of like no man's land. And I may run the ball. We got decent protection. Oh, I threw it too. Oh, thank the Lord for tally. Flag, what is it? Please let it be like her holding. Oh, third and forever. Oh, my gosh. That was a terrible play. Now we're on the 49. We're still in the middle of the field. I'm going to try deep cross up again. Now they're going man. It'd be great if they go like cover one. Uh, this is going to be a tough play. Uh, I really don't want to waste the time out here. I'd rather just eat it if we can't convert. That's going to be a tough throw regardless of what play I call. Let's just go ahead. They're going to cover one. We may have a chance here. Make a play. Oh, oh, he drops it. Or is that a defensive play? Oh, I thought he had a chance on that one. Oh, he got his hand in front of her. Was that another drop? Ooh, I think it was a good defensive play. That's a tough throw to make. It's supposed to go over the defender. At least that's what the goal is. And, of course, that didn't work. So let's punt it. Wow, penalty. Messed up that entire drive. So they don't have anybody back there. If I kick it straight, that's going to curve. Let's see if somebody get down there quick enough. 
Oh my gosh! Look at that! We're like on the three or two. Oh my gosh! Can we get a safety? Wouldn't that be amazing? Somebody make a play. Get a sack. Get a tackle in the end zone. Going with the pass. Oh my gosh, we did it. We got a safety. In kitchen. With the sack. Wow. Huge play. Game changing play right there. I may get a better thumbnail for that one. That was a huge play. You don't get safeties too often in this game. There's something like this. That's a pretty snazzy. That's a pretty good one right there. Oh my gosh. So we, we're going to get the ball with really good field position. They're going to punt it. And Drummer has a chance to do some damage. No, who's that? Buttles? That's a receiver. Juco kid. Decent return. So we're on the left hash. 22 seconds. So we survived all of that. That could have been a whole lot worse than what it turned out to be. Let's go P.E. Reed. We're going to just bounce this over to Drummer. Incredible. What a play, Al. What a play all around. Look at this. This is insane. This is intuition. You can't really, I mean, you just got to think, what's a good thing to do right here? Do I do a stiff arm? Do I juke? I felt the need to spin, and it worked well. At this point, juke, when you somebody's directly in front of you, that's a good time to juke. That worked. Then the rest of it is just off to the races after that. Just a great play. Okay, so we're on the 15-yard line. I have an idea. Maybe a big mistake, but we're going to go PA fullback flat. They're going zone. End of the quarter. Good. We're going to let that clock roll. I'm not going to do anything stupid. We're not going to call that play. We're going to call something safer. That's exactly what we're going to do. Let's just run the ball. I don't need to be get cute or anything. And they decided to shift everybody and their brother on that side, which is fine. We're going to do something like this. Look at that. Six points. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. Look at that blocking. Just one simple change. One little motion made all the difference. And we got two great blocks by our receivers. Why in the world did they shift like that? They're just making it easy on us. Good blocking on the left side. Our left tackle done just enough. Buttles got a tackle there and right got off his other tackle. His other block and picked up that one right there. Just a great play. And just like that, I think we got a chance to win this thing. Now I'm feeling pretty comfortable about it. We're up 18. We're fixing to go up 19. There's still a whole quarter left. They're, I don't know if their offense is good enough to pick up the quick points. But hats off to our offense. Everybody's just playing well. We just didn't have any big mistakes so far. No big turnovers. That was a big problem with a lot of our losses last season. How many turnovers will we have in those games? Several. So the win is going in that direction. So I'm going to leave it as is. This is going out of bounds. Big time. I jacked that one up. Our first bad one of the day. So they're going to get that on the 35. Yep, I hit the button way too late. We're going to go quarters. And a 4-3. I probably should have went nickel. I didn't think about that. That's okay. I think we'll, we'll be fine. Somebody make a tackle. Pick up a solid eight yards. Let's go to nickel. Now that they have spread us out a bit. We'll do something like this. Halfback draw. Pick up a first down. When their halfback gets the ball, he does really well with, well with it. He's got, what, a 12-point or 12-yard average? It's not bad. They just don't run it enough. 
Because I'm telling them, run it on me. Because we're trying our best to shut down the passing game. Good throw. He was, yeah, just a great play. Nobody was able to get to him. So they're mowing right down the field. I'm going to leave it as is. We're going to have that blitzer. Don't know if it'll help. Get him, get him, get him. Finally got the sack. There it is. Good for the nickel. He finally came through right here. I mean, it helps that they went play action. I mean, the quarterback had no time. But that is a good call against that play. As opposed to what we saw the last couple times we called that one. Going five wide. We'll go quarters again. I don't need to go dime, but when they go five wide, just, just not needed. Just got to be careful over the middle of the field. As such, thankfully he overthrew it. So it's third and long. We're going to go cloud. Do something like this. I've got the middle of the field. If you notice, I've had like no action in my area all game. Like I haven't had to do anything. That's like the closest I've got to do anything is about right there. So it is what? Fourth and seven? We'll just call the same play. Get a stop here, then this game is definitely over, which I think it already is. Intercept that. Oh, we got lucky. That should have been a touchdown. Huge play, though, by Tally. If I'm not mistaken, go back and look at this. Over, over here. Is that Tally? It was Tally. It was on both of them. Just a great play. Almost. I, shoot, that was super close. And just like that, we're going to win this thing. So let's keep this simple. Let's just run as much clock and get out of here. Zone 4-3. We'll go over here. Just nothing there. That's a face mask. They didn't call it. Second and six. We can try an off tackle play with Drummer. Second and six. Ball on their own thirty-nine. Ooh, that don't look good. Too bad Kate Gates can't run it. Otherwise, I'd probably keep it. I think what I may do. It ain't gonna make it. Ooh, we, we may have a chance. We got some yards out of it, but not a whole lot. Third and four. That's a good idea here. Let's just. I'm just gonna run it. I'm okay with that. The game's over with, so we don't need to do anything crazy. It looks like they are going to. Is that going to help anything? No, I think they're going to blitz both linebackers. But we're going to get lucky. They got picked up. We're just going to get down, stay in bounds. I think this offensive line is getting better and better as the game goes along. And coach, I'll tell you what. I I'm going to go right here and we're going to do a fullback dive. I don't think they're done just yet. With ball. It's first and 10. Zone 4-3. This is the first time I've called this play the entire dynasty but we got a fullback now who can handle a little bit of that oh, the going zone i'm gonna get that corner away from me there make that a little bit easier let that clock roll and we're just trying to run the rest of it out yeah, just nothing there that's a face mask call it there we go probably going to be a five yarder We will accept that. Now it's first and three. We can try that counter play again that worked really well the last time. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to use that tight end play. That'll come in time. I'm not worried about trying to force feed it to anybody. But I just didn't have a couple. I only had like a couple tries for that, and I just forgot to call it. I think we were okay without it. Get a block right there. Get a block. Get a block. Not a whole lot there. Second and two. We can call it here. I don't mind it. It's out of weak tight. And it is tight end drags. 
for going man. This is going to either Patrick or Wright. Cover zero, we're going to Wright, otherwise we're going to Patrick. Since they're going man, eh, we can leave it as is. Cover zero. See if he can make a play. I dropped it. Ah, how many drops has he had today? Two big ones. He had one good catch earlier. He just drops it. See, we just need, and he's by far our best wide receiver, but he just he's just not catching it consistently. So it's third and two. Drummer is out. He, or not Drummer, but Horton. Let's just run the ball. They're blitzing off the right side. Do something like this. And we'll just get down. And we're going to take a knee the rest of the way. Victory formation. So how about that? Huge win. That's going to get us really close to the top 25. I did not say what it was before, but I think we were ranked 42nd coming into this game. So this is really going to help. So like I said, we're going to go to special teams and victory formation. Do this a couple times. Actually, we're going to have to do it once, I think, according to my math. Huge win, though. Now we're going to head into the conference season after this and keep this gravy train rolling. This should really help with recruiting. We need to figure out some positive pitches from a handful of those guys. Hopefully that will come in time. And just like that, we got the upset over number 11, Texas A&M. We played great across the board. Just nothing went wrong. I mean, it helps to have a game like that. No big turnovers. The worst thing that happened was our top receiver dropped like three big passes. And that was it. 33 to 14. Complete domination across the board. Let's check out some stats. We'll go here. 373 yards that are 193. 191 yards rushing. If we're running the ball that well, we could beat anybody. Threw the ball, okay, we done what we needed to do. We didn't have to go crazy with it. That would have been a whole lot better if we would have had a couple of drops. Sacks, three of them, uh, that worked out well for us. Our third down ended up getting a little bit better, but nothing spectacular. Penalties went against us. The big one was that, what was it? It was not a face mask, it was something else. Oh, it was the holding. We could have had an even bigger uh, of a lead if we didn't have that big holding call but that's okay it didn't really affect anything let's go to individual stats gates 9 of 15 182 yards a touchdown again no picks he hasn't thrown one interception all year i don't think you go to rushing it's been a horton again it just worked out well for him he had some really big gains for us like out of three he had three major runs that just really turned the you know everything open for us two touchdowns for him He's just going to be a stud for it. He's a five-star kid, but and he's playing like it. But he's getting some good blocking, too, some good help. Good to see Ball get in there a little bit, do some things, even get another touchdown. I think he's like our third or second leading touchdown guy over Drummer. I don't know how many touchdowns Drummer has. It's kind of close. Receiving. Drummer's leading in receiving in yards. And you look at the touchdowns. Drummer had the one touchdown. You go to defense. Marshall and Mason led in tackles. Kitchen led in tackles for loss. He had a really good game. Three tackles for loss, two sacks, and we didn't have anybody with interceptions. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's check out some scores for the week in the top 25. Of course, we got the big upset over Texas A&M. Iowa over Iowa State. Wisconsin over San Diego State. Ohio State over Cincinnati. Then you have Oregon State over UCLA. Florida destroys Tennessee. My beloved Vols are playing terrible. Don't know why. BYU over TCU. Oklahoma over Miami of Ohio. Then you have Michigan get upset by Notre Dame. USC over Nebraska. Pitt over Michigan State. That was the game of the week, apparently. Then you have Sarah Carolina with the upset. No, it's not an upset. They just beat Southern Miss. Then you have LSU over Northern Illinois. Colorado barely beat Arizona State. Then you have NC State over Maryland. Texas Tech. Now that is an upset. Troy beats the Red Raiders 33 to 28. Then you have Texas over Rice. Missouri over New Mexico. Minnesota over Cal. 
And last but not least, Auburn got beat by Mississippi State in another upset. So that was a handful of upsets this week. Okay, come on back in our next game. We will take on Virginia. This is our first conference game of the season. We upset them last season. Let's see if we can try to do it now. We're playing well. Let's keep it going. Now, again, they are pro-style offense. We're in a 3-4 defense. That'll be a little bit different thing to go up against. But, hey, let's keep this gravy train rolling. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.